Hi friends, as UPSC prelims exam is nearing, most of the students are asking me regarding the tips for how to guess the correct answer in the prelims. Now, let me tell you I am against the guessing, against guessing the answers. However, what is happening is, in the last 3 to 4 years, the prelims exam pattern is changing. It is becoming more dicey. That means out of 100 questions in the prelims exam, a sincere student who has read all the static part and current affairs can know maximum 40 questions for sure. What about remaining 60 questions? He has to definitely guess. If not 60, at least 50 questions he has to guess because generally you should answer at least 80 to 90 questions in the exam to clear the prelims. So now how to guess? See how to guess? Naturally, my answer is number one, if you have got strong basic knowledge, strong fundamentals of uh, polity, economy, history, geography, all these things, naturally your guessing ability will increase. Second thing is, if you have common sense or if you are using common sense in the exam, in that way also you can guess and eliminate the wrong options. Third thing is practice. If you practice some 40 to 40 to 50 prelims exams, then naturally you will acquire the skill of guessing the correct answer. However, keeping all these things aside, still students are asking me some normal tips of how to guess. Hence, I am making this video. In this video, I will be telling you some general blind rules of how to guess the correct answer. However, remember that you should not rely on this completely. You should rely, you should use your basic knowledge, basic knowledge and also use your common sense. So, some of the common rules which I would discuss in the, I will give examples for each of them. One thing is, which everyone, everyone knows, absolute statements. For example, in the question, if the statements given has none, all, only, generally they are wrong, mostly they are wrong. I will give examples when they are correct also, but mostly they are wrong. And statements which are doubtful, for example, it can be, it may be, these kind of statements are generally correct in the exam. And factual part, it can be ministry or any department or any years, dates, data, generally they are wrong. However, if they are used twice, for example, in a question, if there are six statements in the question, six statements, okay, if in one statement they gave an year or a data, and the statement also they gave some data, some number. Then one of them will be correct, other thing will be generally correct. One of them will be wrong, other thing will generally correct. Okay. If they give only one statement, it is wrong. But if they give two statements, one of them will be wrong, one of them will be correct generally. Then contradicting statements, for example, among the statements given, if for example statement number 4 and 5, if they both are contradicting opposite to each other, then definitely one of them shall be correct, another shall be wrong. That also you can use. Then Generally, I would suggest you to eliminate intelligently with your existing knowledge. And if you believe in your instinct, my suggestion is when you read the question, look at the answer. If your instinct says that option A is correct, go for it. Don't think twice or thrice because if you think second time, generally you will mark wrong answer only. The, at least that's what most of the aspirants do. Now let us look at the examples. So as I cannot tell all the questions on a single day, I am thinking of making 10 to 15 questions every day. But remember, in these questions, I am not transferring any kind of knowledge to you. I am just telling you some common tips of guessing. However, keep this as tertiary. The primary is having strong fundamental knowledge. Secondary is practicing more exams. This is a tertiary thing. As the final time has come for prelims, as now you don't have time for preparation, I am telling you these kind of things. Okay. So, see, for example, in 2018, a question has come. Uh, if you observe statement number 2, second statement has a number, even third statement has a number. As I told you, when number repeats in two statements, one of them will be correct, another will be wrong. Now here, you should use some of your existing knowledge also. For example, statement number 1, I know it is correct because among the rural households, the majority, this is a rural village, among the rural households, the majority of households are agriculture households only and Rajasthan has highest percentage of that. So, I know one is correct. Now, among two and three, I know that only one will be correct. Among two and three, only one will be correct. So, answer should be either one, two or one, three. So, out of given options, one, three, only this one. Because one, two is not there. If they are given one, two, then it is difficult to answer. But here, they are given one, three, so obvious is the answer. Next question, as I told you, absolute statements are wrong. For example, here they are saying, in a particular uh, uh, dance form, in a particular dance form called Manipur Sankirtana, symbols are the only musical instruments, only musical, as if they don't use any other musical instrument. Such kind of statements are generally wrong. So, you have to eliminate the two. However, friends, 
here also i have some pre existing knowledge for example i know that manipur dance is based on lord krishna i know that so i know 3 is definitely correct now among 1 and 2 i can eliminate 2 so removing 2 2 should not be there as 2 should not be there 2 should not be there remove this 2 2 should not be there now out of remaining 3 answer should be there now which one out of b and d which one is correct that needs knowledge definitely needs knowledge for example i know that 3 is correct so i'll go for this one if you don't know 3 is correct then you have to go for you know one of them probability 50 percent but at least you are able to arrive at arrive the 50 percent probability so that is that is good actually similarly as i told you when two statements are contradictory to each other opposite to each other for example see accumulation of tangible wealth accumulation of intangible wealth they are contradictory to each other as they are opposite to each other one of them shall be wrong one of them shall be correct definitely so but three and four together they should not be there both for example here see three and four three and four together cannot be there but definitely in three and four at least three at least four should be there for example here three is not there four is not there wrong here also three is not there so wrong here four is there hence correct you understand so in that way when two opposite statements come you can easily mark the answer so for the next question next question uh, as i told you about the facts see see here drastic increase it's extreme statement is absolute statement it is wrong it is wrong but doubtful statements for example could could affect it could affect it may affect it can be possible these statements are generally correct for example see this one it could lead to a fall it could lead to a fall it may lead to a doubtful statement is correct correct so 1 and 3 are correct 2 is wrong so this is answer similarly similarly see as i told you but here 50 50 crore they are given uh, two statements when when a fact repeats as i told you definitely one of them is correct answer so obviously answer is among c and d but out of c and d what is correct answer you need knowledge either you need knowledge or you need instinct instinct for example when you read these two statements your instinct generally says d is correct of course if it does not say then you should have some knowledge you should look into both the statements try to understand that and see which one is correct okay now uh, another example as i told you absolute statements are wrong generally however this question i have kept intentionally see for example only is there only as soon as only is there immediately you should not eliminate because here what is happening read the statement they shall the reserve bank of india shall ensure that entire data relating to the payment systems be stored in systems only in india do you think it will be stored in china or usa or uk some other country not possible no definitely our uh, sensitive data we will store only in india it's common sense so it is correct only so one is correct just by looking at only don't cancel something use common sense also as i told you common sense comes before guessing understand so in that way i, I kept this question intentionally to tell you that just because only is there you should not cancel okay then again here as I told you, absolute statements are wrong. For example, here all of the India's debt is external debt is US dollars, all that is wrong. So 2 is wrong. As 2 is wrong, you cancel this option. 2 is wrong. Now option should be either A or D. When see, remember my suggestion is when you are able to eliminate two options, when you have two options, you go for the guessing because 50% probability of correct. For example, if you answer four questions like that, four questions then two questions will be correct two questions will be wrong generally two questions will be. when two questions are correct you will get two into two four marks when two questions are wrong you will get two into minus two by three minus four by three so four minus four by three how much almost eight by three so which is a positive mark no so always go for guessing next next example see as i told you every day i will, I will cover only some uh, 10 to 12 questions and tomorrow i'll do other questions based on guessing so for example here this also i gave this question intentionally intentionally because I, I i as i told you you cannot follow the rules blindly for example see here fact is there three months here also fact is there here also fact is there okay so as six kg so as two facts are there i told you one of the facts will be correct one of the facts will be wrong so definitely one of the facts will be wrong definitely one of them will be wrong so in one and two definitely one should be wrong for example, see 1 and 2 both they give, definitely cancel it, not correct. Again 1 and 2 they give, cancel it. 
means among one and two definitely one of them shall be wrong both cannot be correct okay now you arrive at two and three now in this two and three how do you go for the answer here again i'm telling you i will use my instinct i will say that two two means again it's a fact three is not a fact so i will go for three but this one the second step is instinct only okay in that way i will go similarly the next one this question as i told you facts are generally wrong see four stage logic is a fact so generally facts are wrong so you you cancel three now among one and two now you have to use common sense see here see satellite launched by pslv appear to remain permanently fixed in the same position generally permanently fixed in the same position in the sky means geostationary satellites means they always stay in the same longitude geostationary satellites how can you tell that every satellite launched by pslv is a geostationary not possible no because pslv launches different types of satellites some of them can be geostationary some of them cannot be geostationary hence by common sense two is wrong two is wrong by three is wrong by guess fact as a fact i'm considering it two by common sense so answer is one answer is one in that way you have to mix the guessing strategy with common sense or guessing strategy with some knowledge pure guessing strategy is also possible i'll tell that okay for example well, this is one of the questions see this question most of the worlds he is not telling entire world most of the worlds that means it's doubtful it's correct more than one third he is not telling specifically two fifth or three sixth he is telling more than one third he has not how much it is more than one third so it is correct doubtful statements are correct generally coral is a far more number far more number but how many number is not giving you doubtful correct so when they go for this doubtful statements generally correct so answer is d correct so next one for example see this question here they saying only on the seas not on the continents only in the seas is wrong is wrong okay uh, as per our strategy it is wrong now answer is 2 and 3 that way you can answer next question next question c any contamination can be completely treated see nothing can be completely see not only guessing even one is by guessing as absolute statement it is wrong and treatment second thing is even use common sense how can any contamination be completely treated you cannot completely 100% you cannot treat even if you see the coal get add in the coal get add also as you clean the teeth out of hard germs some germs will be still remaining in the advertisement also you can see that some germs are remaining so complete treatment is not possible second thing is absolute statement so it's wrong two is wrong so answer is only one and three so in that way friends you can answer so tomorrow i'll come up with 10 more questions but remember this is the last last uh, thing you have to believe in firstly believe in your revision revise more for the prelims examination second thing is practice more exams don't read anything new in the last two weeks only revise what you have read and practice more and more exams so that your guessing abilities will increase see you friends have a nice day bye